G'day viewers, it's time to start setting up the TSC-X simulation controller or train simulation controller. Now I did find out, uh, find out what these letters mean. They basically mean simulation workshop. Hmm. Pretty fair, that's who makes it. Um, excuse the grubby hands, I was firing a steam engine yesterday. There's no getting that stuff off. Anyway, what I want to do is sort of reduce the stiffness of the levers a little bit. And I've got this little 10 millimeter spanner. It's a junk one that came with something, I don't know. But you do need a fairly thin one to get in here. And uh, when I went to my proper set of spanners, as anybody that knows anything about metric spanners knows, the 10 millimeter one is always the one that disappears. So this is a 10. So all you have to do, and I think you can see what I'm doing, is just back that nut off just a little bit. So I've taken that back about a quarter turn. And that's a lot better because now I can I can handle it with just two fingers, whereas before it was uh, so stiff it would actually make the box move. Now this one's this one's almost there, so we'll do the same thing here. Bring it back a, a quarter. I might bring that one back a hair more actually, so I'll have to come in from this side because there's not much room here. You might be able to get more room if you um. That's much better. You might be able to get more room if you take the covers off. Um, they look like they're a standard hex, so we'll we'll have a look at that in a moment. Uh, let's, this one is this this one's super stiff. You actually it actually tries to move the box, so yeah, that's way too stiff. So let's just get in there, and, and this one's going to be a little bit more difficult to get onto, I think. Let's move the lever. That's that's gotten a quarter turn out of it. You just have to keep moving the lever back and forth. Because of the, the, I don't know if you can see this. You probably can't on that one. Oh, you can on that one. Okay, let's get in here. See that little uh, square bracket thing there? Because of that, there's not much room to get the spanner in there. So you kind of have to keep moving the lever back and forth. Um, that's what drives the, uh, what's probably a potentiometer, the joystick pot. So I just have to keep manipulating this a little bit at a time. If this was a proper spanner, I'd be able to turn it around and, and get a little bit more. But as it is, I can't do that. That's not the device's issue. It's because it's not a proper spanner. We're getting much better, but I want to come off a little bit more. Yeah, we're nearly there. One thing I am noticing is this lever in particular wiggles a bit so I'm going to turn the device upside down in a moment and just try and get a hex thing on there that's that's much better Oops, is he throwing the thing on the ground uh, where are my hex keys what did I do with them okay I'm not sure where I put them hmm I've got a whole box of the damn things all right so I've got this little hex key thing it's a two millimeter key which does fit these little little screws um, the top ones I would suggest if you're needing to remove these, you saw me do that in a video earlier, um, I would be pretty gentle if I were you because this 3D printed material is a bit lightweight. Now I just want to tighten up these ones because I think they might have backed off a little bit in shipping and indeed they have. So there's probably... They're not quite a two millimeter actually, because the two millimeter is slipping in it. Hmm. Maybe maybe it's a two point five or something like that. But I did manage to get a, some turnage out of that. So let's just get this back in the frame. Yeah, very professional this. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, so they they backed off a little bit during shipping. All right, I'm fairly happy with the way these levers feel now. I think they move fairly well. And I'll just pull up the uh, USB back in again because I pulled it out to turn it on its side. Um, the USB cable that came with it, it's a fairly good quality cable. It's this one. So it's a USB 3 to USB C, but it's just not very long. So in my situation, I've had to, I've had to put in another one. Um, yeah, so that's pretty normal. It's not unusual when you're setting things up. All right, I'll be back in a moment in a different video to just continue the setup. And we're gonna do Train Sim World 
first. And we're going to do it with the Cobra One software, which is the software the manufacturer recommends. I've already been using that for my rail driver in the past. So we'll get into that shortly. All right. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, put them down below. Um, I'm not affiliated with Sim Workshop in any way. So I'm just making a set of tutorials for this thing to uh, help out the community and get the information out there because they are a little bit interesting to set up. All right. Enjoy yourselves and we shall see you in the next one.